And welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending February 1st, 2020. Let's get started with news about Weathering With You, which has made a total of $6.5 million in North America, which is pretty darn cool. It came out January 15th, about two weeks ago, and uh, initially ranked number two in theaters, but then dropped down to 12, 13, 14 sort of that level, but um, Friday to Monday made $2.2 million, which was more than what was expected. They thought it would only get $2.0 million, and um, earned a total of $5.2 million in its first six days. That's pretty darn good. Can't complain about that. It is the highest grossing release from G-Kids, and it hit that in its first two days, which topped uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower, which made $2.4 million. Um, and it's also already earned more than your name in North America, so that's pretty darn cool. Moving along, Funimation has announced they are dropping their stream of interspecies reviewers. This is a very, very adult anime that Funimation was streaming. And I don't honestly know quite why they were streaming it, because uh, it's not quite, you know, totally adults only, but it's definitely an anime for adults. And uh, they announced on Friday that they are not going to be streaming it anymore. The official statement was, quote, After careful consideration, we determined that this series falls outside of our standards. We have the utmost respect for our creators, so rather than substantially alter the content, we felt taking it down was the most respectful choice, end quote. The question has to be asked, though. They've been doing it for three episodes. How could they not know that it fell outside their standards? I don't know. Who knows? But uh, if you're looking for interspecies reviewers, you'll have to go somewhere other than Funimation for now. Meanwhile, good news for digital manga sales up 29% last year. Now, the overall publishing market only increased 0.2% for the year, earning about $14 billion US. But this is the first increase since 2014 for the overall publishing market. Print was down 4.3%. With the digital market up 23.9%. So things are definitely going well. Um, print sales fell for the 15th straight year last year. But print manga sales did rise in 2019. Uh, bolstered by uh, major publishers ri uh, uh, raising prices starting back in summer um, 18. And some breakout hits like Demon Slayer. So good news in general for... Uh, manga sales, uh, at least if you're on the digital side. Speaking of good news for manga, there was a, quote, multiple urgent reprint situation, end quote, with uh, Keep Your Hands Off Ezoken after the introduction of the anime. The anime apparently drove a bunch of sales of the manga, which is now at over half a million copies in print. Not much news beyond that. The anime premiered on NHK General back in Janu uh, January 5th, and it's uh, streaming now on Crunchyroll, 12 episodes total. So good to see anime pushing sales over in Japan, and hopefully it'll push more sales of the anime, and it'll be a, a nice whole cycle, and all of that will work. We'll see. Speaking of manga, Dark Horse let us know this week that... Helsing is coming to a hardcover edition. Pretty exciting. This will be the uh, a three-volume edition eventually in an embossed casing with sewn binding and a ribbon marker. Pretty darn cool. It'll come out July 14th, although you can pre-order it and get it uh, on Dark Horse's website July 1st. And this will be the first release of the manga in the original 7x10 serialized format. That's pretty darn exciting. That looks pretty cool over there. I don't know. I, I kind of want it now. A uh, total of three volumes, as I said. The first volume will be 696 pages and will compile the manga's first four original volumes. So it's going to be a big one. And uh, if you're just hell saying, I think this will be the one for you. Moving on, kind of a lighter bit of news and uh, something I wouldn't normally cover, but I just loved this 
bit of information. Um, there was news released this week about the upcoming Shiro Bako film, and this is an this was based on the anime series about um, a couple of people all at an anime studio, all making an anime series, and so. What's really interesting is how the anime film is actually going to be about them making an anime film. That's right. This is going to be an anime movie about a bunch of people making an anime movie. How's that for meta? Pretty darn cool. Moving on to some news about the upcoming Ghost in the Shell Netflix series. There's going to be all CGI. We have news now on who will be involved, directed by both... Kenji Kamiyama and Shinji Aramaki. That's pretty major. Speaking of major, all of the uh, classic Japanese voice actors will be back. Atsuko Tanaka, Akio Otsuka, Koichi Yamadera, all the rest, with Osamu Saka returning as Aramaki. Nobuko, to Nobuko Toda and Kazuma Jinnochi will be doing the music. No Yoko Kano this time, unfortunately. Toda... Uh, did the music for Sweetness and Lightning and The Case Files of Jeweler Richard, while Jinochu worked on Buso Shinki. Uh, Toto is also known for composing the music for Metal Gear Solid. So that's probably why he's involved. And both of them worked on the soundtracks for Halo 4 and Halo 5. Pretty darn cool. So we'll see where it goes. There is a trailer up on YouTube now if you are curious what that's going to look like. Another fun one, let's move on to a, uh, a fun story. The Love Live Series 9th Anniversary Love Live Fest will be over in the U.S. in February 25th. This will be a rebroadcast of the January 18th event at the Saitama Super Arena, Arena which brought together the idol groups Accords, St. Snow, and Nijigasaki Academy's Idol Appreciation Club. And this will mark the reunion of the various Love Live members after about three years and nine months. This is pretty cool. Um, we also know that there is going to be a new TV anime coming. Tagline being, the story of my dreams coming true, hello, Love Live. So we'll see where that goes, but uh, good news for all of you Love Live fans. You may be able to see all the characters on the big screen. Uh, speaking of idols... Seiji Mitsushima will be directing a new anime series called, sorry, called D4DJ. Mitsushima, known as, uh, particularly as a director of Full Metal Alchemist and Mobile Suit Gundam 00, so pretty big heavy hitter there. This is going to be uh, clearly some kind of idol series. I mean, look at these girls. Clearly, um... You know, some kind of idol thing going on here, and I believe it is DJ related. I'm just gonna guessing that here. I don't know, but um, Seiji Mitsushima being brought in for this is a pretty big deal. So here's hoping it's uh, it works out for him. And finally, interesting story here about a manga called The Cornered Mouse Dreams of Cheese. This was originally a um, a manga based on um, the story of uh, two guys who, let's just say, get together, and uh, originally included some pretty adult content, but now that there is a movie coming out, live-action movie, the mangaka has announced that she is going to be re-editing and redrawing the manga and re-releasing the edited version without that content in it. The complexity being that... It's just going to be re-released with the same covers and everything else. So there'll be no indication of whether you're getting the original version or the one changed by the mangaka. The quote from Mizushiro, Seitono Mizushiro, uh, excuse me, didn't quite get that right. Seitono Mizushiro, there we go. She said... In the 16 years that have passed since the original release, various circumstances have changed. The situation also changed a lot due to the film production. And basically because the film might be seen by a lot of younger viewers, he's a little worried what they might find in the manga if they go back to that. So there'll be an edited version out there, and that's going to be interesting to see what that does to, uh, to sales and to the fan base. Who knows? But uh, good luck to them. Good luck to the popularity of Cornered Mouse. 
in uh, theaters after that releases, and uh, we'll see what that where that goes. But that's it for the news for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next week.